Some of our universe is missing, and I'm not talking here about dark matter or dark energy, those are separate problems. I mean that when astronomers look around our neighborhood space, within a few billion light years, there seems to be less material on view than they'd expect. But now, thanks to NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory, part of that shortfall may have been accounted for. The missing mass that scientists have been hunting isn't in the most obvious form of stars or other material contents of galaxies such as clouds of gas and dust. So what could it be? One leading theory is that it consists of huge filaments of gas in the space between galaxies and clusters of galaxies. These vast threads of gas with temperatures of anywhere from 10,000 to 10 million degrees Kelvin would make up what's been called the Warm Hot Intergalactic Medium, or WIM, W-H-I-M. A team of astronomers used the Chandra X-ray Observatory to study Abel 98. It's a large cluster of galaxies consisting of three colliding subclusters, which lies about 1.4 billion light years away. The Chandra data has shown a bridge of X-ray emission between two of these colliding subclusters, which is coming from two components, gas at a temperature of about 20 million Kelvin and cooler gas that's at about 10 million Kelvin. The hotter gas in the bridge is most likely to be gas in the two clusters overlapping with each other. The temperature and density of the cooler gas, though, are in line with predictions for the hottest and densest gas in the WIM. The Chandra data has also revealed the presence of a shock wave, like the sonic boom from a plane as it breaks through the sound barrier. This shock wave is driven by and lies ahead of one of the galaxy clusters as it's starting to plow into the other cluster. It's the first time astronomers have found evidence of such a shockwave in the early stages of a collision between galaxy clusters, before the centers of the cluster get close together. The shockwave and the hot intergalactic medium discovered in Abel 98 are almost certainly connected. What's probably happened is the shockwave has heated gas that was already present between the clusters raising the temperature to the point at which it gives off X-rays that can be seen by Chandra. It's a strong indication that there's a great deal more material between galaxies and clusters of galaxies than our instruments are normally able to detect, material that may wholly or in part explain the shortfall in ordinary matter that's been a major puzzle in astronomy.